Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, a couple of updates first um, from last week's video to this week's video. Um, number one, I chopped my hair. Yep, we took about seven inches off, just kind of felt like I needed um, the change. My hair was long, I never did anything with it. It was always up in that bun like you guys always saw, so we did that. Um, second thing is not something we chose to do, but um, we did this. We are still not sure what it is, but yeah, um, we have a follow-up appointment on Tuesday. Hopefully they say we don't think you need an MRI, it's just a sprain, and you gotta let it run its course. We're hoping they say that. They did rule out ACL, um, so that's good, but there is still um, some worry about my meniscus. It's going to be fine. We're fine. Um, I, am take, I have obviously taken days off of the gym since then. Today is Thursday. This happened Monday night. So I have not worked out since then. I might go do some upper body today. We'll see. Um, it is feeling better. I am able to walk on it with the brace. So we'll see how that goes. But there's some updates for you guys since my last video. <laughs> Things are changing around here, but for this week's video, I kind of wanted to do a fun um, food type of video. I had a request to show you guys what I get at fast food restaurants, um, so I want to show you my order at fast food restaurants around where I live. And I want this to be like what I would order there if I wasn't planning on eating fast food and if I was trying to stick to my nutrition goals. So um, this isn't like if I go to fast food, this is the only thing I order um, because most of the time if I'm going to fast food, it's because I'm choosing to and because um, it's something that I'm craving and in that situation, I, I will order whatever I want, whatever I'm craving, um, whether that be like a cheeseburger or a shake or, you know, like chicken nuggets, whatever. Um, but I want this video to be like, you're in a rush, there's nowhere else to eat um, except a fast food restaurant. What do you get to stay on track? What do you get to like make sure that you're still going to be able to meet your um, nutrition goals that day? So. With that being said, um, this video could be possibly triggering for some people who struggle with eating disorders or struggle with, you know, eating out. Um, I don't want it to be in any way. I want this to help you guys. Um, and I also don't want this to come off as you can only eat these things at fast food restaurants because like I said before, if I um, am going to a fast food restaurant, it's usually because I want to and I'm usually going to get something that is quote unquote unhealthy um, or higher in calories that is going to um, not fit into my calorie goals. Um, but I did get a request from a few people um, asking what I get at fast food restaurants to um, stay on track. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm not gonna be going to fast food restaurants just because, um, well, my leg, and um, I don't <laughs> um, really eat out at all and I don't really want to spend a bunch of money on fast food today, but we will, um, I'll kind of like pull it up on my computer, show you what it is, and like show you the calories and macros and all that fun stuff, and maybe we'll do like a breakfast, lunch, dinner type of deal where I show you at each meal like what I would get from each place, so I think it'll be fun. I do wish that I could like go to each place, but um, that would kind of take a while, and I probably wouldn't go 
to breakfast at like seven different fast foods and then go to lunch at seven you know what i'm saying but yeah so it should be fun um i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always please make sure to like and subscribe if you do it helps to support me and our little family here on youtube and yeah i will see you when it's time for breakfast okay so starting out the um fast food restaurants that i chose were McDonald's, Taco Bell, Subway, Culver's, Chipotle, and Starbucks. Um, I chose Chipotle because we are getting one here. Um, we have Qdoba and Brachos, but I feel like Chipotle is more common in other places. Um, so I'm just going to show you my order there. Um, but they are very similar to like Qdoba and Brachos. Um, starting with breakfast. First of all, here's my actual breakfast today. It is Kodiak cake waffles with some peanut butter and syrup so culver's and chipotle don't serve breakfast so i won't be showing you guys those oh and i also did i say starbucks i also chose starbucks starting off with mcdonald's um if i were to go to mcdonald's for breakfast um i would probably get the egg mcmuffin this is what it looks like And I'd probably ask for it without cheese, just because um, lactose intolerant cheese really upsets my stomach. Um, this is 310 calories. I'm guessing if you take off the cheese, it's gonna be around like 290, 280. Um, so I'd probably get the egg McMuffin, as well as a hash brown, um, because 290 calories is not enough. Um, for breakfast and one hash brown is going to be 140 calories so um, that's what I would get from McDonald's I probably wouldn't get anything to drink just because um, they don't have like dairy-free milk options for coffee so I'd probably get a water the next place is Taco Bell this one was kind of hard they don't have a lot of options but um, I would probably get this cheesy toasted breakfast burrito, the potato one, and that's what this looks like. This is 340 calories, except I would ask if they can make it without the nacho cheese. It looks like it's just a wrap with potatoes, pico, egg, and nacho cheese. Um, so it says if you get no nacho cheese, it subtracts 30 calories, which would make it 310. Um, so I would get that. I would maybe get two of those, or I would probably maybe add a hash brown on there as well. So that is Taco Bell. The next place is Subway. This was kind of hard to find because you can like build your own. Um, sandwiches there which is super nice so if there's a subway nearby for breakfast I would definitely recommend that one the most but so for subway breakfast their nutrition facts are really only for like the set sandwiches um, so like the bacon egg and cheese is 460 calories um, the regular egg and cheese is 390 what I would probably get from there is on a flatbread, um, I would get the egg whites and um, no cheese. And then I would get like spinach, tomatoes, onions, and then their sriracha sauce. I'm wondering if they have, oh, breads and toppings, here we go. Yes, so for the flatbread, the calories is 230, which is pretty good. And then toppings. It doesn't look like they have the sriracha on here. Usually sriracha is zero calories, so I'm guessing that's that. Um, but yeah, I would just go with um, like the egg whites or you can get regular egg too. Um, Subway's a really easy place to customize your meal um, towards your calories, which is awesome. So that's what I would get at Subway. And then lastly for breakfast, um, Starbucks, which was pretty easy for me because I work there. 
Um, if I went to Starbucks for breakfast, I would first get the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich, and I would ask for no cheese. So, um, it is basically like a sausage, egg, and cheddar sandwich, except the sausage is plant-based, which is awesome. It's 420 calories, regular. If you were to take the cheese off, I believe my fitness pal says it's 370 calories. And then I would also get like an oat milk or almond milk latte, which would add maybe like 100 calories onto that. Um, the other other options at Starbucks that are pretty good for breakfast are like the reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich. Um, we have perfect bars, um, like the peanut butter perfect bars. Those are like protein bars. Those are really good. Macros on those are great. Um, and we also have oatmeal. So if you're looking for something healthier at Starbucks, I would definitely go for that. But that is it for breakfast. Those are my fast food orders when I'm trying to stay on track and um, I have to eat out. That is probably what I would get. But remember, this is just myself and my preferences. So don't like go crazy and be like, oh, I have to do this because Grace said so, because you don't. But um, these are just suggestions and um, my opinions. So yeah, I will see you guys for lunch then. Okay, so it's about lunch time now. And I'm not super hungry, so I'm having pineapple. Um, but I thought I would share now my lunch options with you guys. Okay, so starting out with McDonald's again. Um, this was hard because I thought that McDonald's used to have wraps and stuff, but apparently they don't. So, honestly, McDonald's would be my last choice out of every fast food place to go um, for any meal. Um, so I would probably just, yeah, I don't know. But for McDonald's lunch, I think I'm just gonna combine like lunch and dinner together because I feel like when you're eating fast food, it can be the same order. So for McDonald's, I would probably get the McChicken. I, I just have a hard time because I don't really eat meat. They don't have any vegetarian options. Um, the McChicken is 400 calories. And then on the side, I would probably get, they have apple slices. So I'd probably get like a small fry and some apple slices. I believe the small fry is 220 calories. So I mean, it's kind of a big meal calorie wise for not so, for not really a dense, meal but you know i mean and this is like hypothetical like last resort <laughs> that's probably what i would get moving on to taco bell they actually have a good option i actually had this to eat um on sunday for the first time um sadly i wasn't impressed because of the Taco Bell location we went to, but um, Taco Bell has a power bowl and it looks like this. It looks like this. This is the veggie one. I believe you can get a chicken one as well, but the veggie one is 430 calories. And when I went, I asked for no cheese and extra lettuce. Um, so if you take the cheese off, it subtracts 60 calories. So, um, the only issue that I had was I asked for extra lettuce and they gave me no lettuce at all. So there wasn't that much food in the bowl um, and I was hungry afterwards. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but this is a really good option. If you're gonna go to Taco Bell, I would try the Power Veggie Bowl or the Power I think it's chicken, let's see. Yes, it comes with chicken. Looks like it's grilled chicken. 
and that one is 470 calories. So those are some pretty good options um, there. Next is Subway. Again, Subway's calories are really gonna depend on how you build your sandwich, but this is another good option um, if you're really looking at your calories, if you're really trying to stick to an exact budget, it's very easy to customize here. Um, the sandwich that I get at Subway is the veggie. I think it's called the Veggie Delight. So if you go down to that one. Yeah, so the Veggie, the veggie Delight is um, on its own apparently 190 calories. <laughs> Um, I get a foot long. I get it on whole wheat bread. I add almost all of the veggies. I do spinach, tomato, onion, pickles, black olives, banana peppers, cucumbers, and then I either get the sweet onion sauce or the sriracha. And the sweet onion sauce, I did see on here earlier. So, that is... calories yeah so pretty good right there um, you can add cheese if you want cheese will add about 40 to 60 calories onto that sandwich for you but um, we don't like cheese over here <laughs> but yeah so always a really great option um, next I pulled up Starbucks Starbucks is a little bit harder for me for lunch just because most of the paninis um, either have meat or cheese on them, and it's kind of hard to like ask for it without. So I kind of went for a breakfast-ish type of thing. Um, if I were to go to Starbucks for lunch, I would probably get the Southwest Veggie Wrap. This is also a newer item. It looks like this. This puppy is 590 calories. I've had this multiple times. It's so good. It's so filling. Um, but it is scrambled eggs, black beans, potatoes, and it's got pico and some jalapeno cream cheese. Um, and then it's wrapped in a salsa tortilla. So um, it's pretty good. And it has 24 grams of protein, which I love. And then I'd probably get a nice coffee with it because I'm addicted. Um, otherwise, I do like the tomato mozzarella panini. That doesn't seem to upset my stomach too much, and it doesn't have any meat on it, so that's also a good option. And I believe that one's around 320 calories, so um, that's also a good option for you. Next, I am so excited because I didn't know this was a thing. It must be new, but Culver's now has a veggie burger, and I think I have to go try it because I am a veggie burger fanatic. I love veggie burgers and um, I love finding places with the best veggie burgers. So Culver's, I might be coming for you. Um, I was not sure what I would have got, I would get at Culver's, but now that I see this, this is probably my go-to. Um, so this is, it says it's fire roasted chickpeas, mushrooms, peppers, and corn into the patty. And then it's on the bun with um, tomato, onion, lettuce, and pickles. The nutrition is 590 calories, which is pretty good. Um, let's see, the burger itself is 260 calories. And then the bun is 220. The mayo is 100, so I might ask for no mayo on that and just get ketchup and mustard. Um, then it would be around 490 calories. And the nice thing about Culver's is you can get a salad on the side or soup on the side um, or french fries. So if I was trying to kind of watch what I was eating and I did get this burger, I might get a salad or soup on the side instead of french fries, just to kind of cut back on those calories a little bit. But yeah, this is what she looks like, I guess. Looks pretty dang good to me. The next thing I actually forgot to pull up, but it is Chipotle. And any kind of like Chipotle, Qdoba, brachos, my order is basically the same um, because I'm very specific about my burritos. Burrito bowls, I should say. Um, I love them. They are 
a masterpiece. And let's see if it's gonna let me build mine and show you guys. I do the burrito bowl veggie and I get her with brown rice, black beans. Ooh, it's letting me customize, this is awesome. I get fajita veggies, I do guac. I get pico as well as the spicy salsa and I get extra lettuce. So it looks like my burrito bowl comes out to be 635 calories um, for that full meal, which is um, great for a meal option. So if you are going to Chipotle, I would recommend going on their website and clicking the nutrition tab up here. And it literally lets you customize your bowl exactly how you would order it. Um, maybe one thing I would change on here if 635 calories seems like a lot to you for a meal, uh, the guacamole is 230 calories on its own. So if you were to take that off, I would be down to 405 calories. Um, but I do love guac. You could also ask for light guac too, or guac on the side. But yeah, that is what I get there. And usually nothing else. So. Obviously I'm not gonna like do a dessert portion just because this video is geared more towards um, eating out and trying to stay on track. And I feel like dessert, when you, like going out for dessert is more of like a special type of thing. And if you're gonna go out for dessert, you're probably not too worried about your calories, or at least you shouldn't be, because going out for dessert is like a treat, and you shouldn't be making yourself feel bad for that at all. So, those were the restaurants, or the fast food restaurants that um, are around here um, that I've been to. I know there's more, but like these are the most common ones, I would say. The ones that like I probably would go to if they were around but yeah um i really hope that you guys found this helpful um, in any way i know that life can be crazy and especially if you're traveling out and about out and about um on the road and there's not a lot of options sometimes fast food is the only option but it is super super possible to stay inside um your calorie goals or whatever goals that you have um while eating out you just have to make sure that you're being smart about it and you're being aware of what you're putting into your body and that you're also like not lying to yourself. If you are somebody that tracks calories and you do go out to eat, please like look it up on your app and then look it up on that fast food website if they have the nutrition facts. Make sure it matches up. Always give yourself a little bit of leeway. Um, you don't want to be under tracking because that's kind of when you start to go over and then um, maybe you're not making progress because you're not tracking correctly and you think you have more calories left to eat in a day than you actually do. Um, but all of these fast food restaurants had their nutrition um, facts up on the page directly with the item, which I thought was amazing and super helpful. So if you are ever wondering like what your order is and what the macros are you can go right on there and see that which is great so yeah that is what i personally would order for breakfast lunch slash dinner at a fast food restaurant if i absolutely needed to um if you guys have any questions about other things with like eating out and tracking and staying on track eating out please um feel free to reach out message me and um, we can definitely chat about that. I can help you out there because life gets in the way and sometimes you just have to, you just have to run through a fast food place, which it's not the end of the world. You're gonna be just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. As I said before, it helps to support me, it helps make sure that I can still make these videos every week for you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys next week.